serves the best tea in town. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Rashid. I couldn't stop thinking about what you mentioned on the phone. I mean, can it really be true? I was as surprised as you are. Even doubtful, I may add. That is, until I found the irrefutable evidence. Uh, come on, let's discuss this on the way. Please, follow me. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kinda reminds me of the cat I had in my childhood. I'm not going to wait for you all day. Move on already! This shawarma looks real tasty. I usually prefer chicken. Though. Ibn Battuta, as you may know, was a famous Arab explorer that went on a 30-year-long adventure throughout the Middle Ages. During those 30 years of travel, he came across marvelous wonders and went from being a slave to a king and then to a prisoner. When he returned home here in Tangier, the Sultan asked him to write an account of his journey. Now, because Ibn Battuta wasn't a writer, the task was given to one of the Sultan's writers, my great-great-grandfather, Ibn Juze al kalabi The book is called The Journey, or al Rila. I heard that it took two years to write it. True. The book eventually got translated into many languages and it's available in bookstores today. The initial goal of Ibn Battuta's trip was to perform pilgrimage to Mecca, and indeed, he managed to do it three times during his travels. I think I read once that the Sinbad stories were based on Ibn Battuta. I wouldn't be surprised. He covered three times the distance that Marco Polo did. Who knows what he might have seen in his lifetime. To it. Sadly, he had the dispute with his partner and they closed it down. <laughs> Along with the rest of these shops, it seems. The smell of tea is getting stronger. Oh, here it is, Akram's Cafe. Have a seat, please. Hmm. 
I will have uh, green tea, please. It acts as a cleanser, especially useful for someone at my age. I heard it helps reduce weight, too. You might want to try it out, Dania. Ha ha ha. And I will have the traditional Moroccan tea, with three spoons of white sugar. On second thought, make them brown. Just one cappuccino for me, please. What? I may occasionally have a change of heart. Sometimes. Never mind him, sir. So you were saying? Now listen to me carefully, both of you. I came across a rare set of documents while looking through my family's heirlooms. They are the diaries of Ibn Juze himself. What got omitted from the book were details that will lead to something dark, cursed, and valuable. Go on. Some are willing to die for it. Others will happily kill. Well then, count us in. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you, young man. Let's head for my apartment now then, shall we? Quite honestly, the reason I contacted you and no one else is that your reputation precedes you. You two work as a team and have the qualities required for this line of work. The combination of knowledge, passion, and persistence. I have grown too old for this kind of thing. I'm sure we can come to an agreement to share whatever fortunes lie down this path. I can assure you, sir, money is the least of our motivations in doing this. I don't know about you, Dania, but I sure have a lot of things I want to buy. You're welcome to give me your share, though. Here's my apartment. The diaries are safely hidden in my cell. Why is the door open? I'm sure I locked it before I... There! I see someone near the balcony. Hey, you! Hold it right there! Where did he go? <laughs> Who 
sent you! <laughs> Go to hell! You... you won't get a word from me! I said talk, or I will... Boris, are you alright? The attacker was killed by a sniper before I could find out anything. The diaries are not with him, he probably handed them over to someone else. The police are surrounding the building. Oh, this doesn't look good. Find your way out of there fast, but don't engage any of them. <laughs> sure. How about I just put on my invisibility cloak? That should make things easier. Just a little more. Now what? Okay, I just saw you. Go to the park and head right. We'll be in Rashid's car. It's red. Hurry! Oh. No, 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 no! Oh, oh my legs. So, now we are in trouble. What do you mean, we? It's my car the police are chasing. What do we do now? Try to get away from the police for as long as you can. I will call one of my friends and see if he can help us leave the city once we are safe. Where exactly did you get your driving license, young man? Good question. I don't have a driving license. Oh, it's good we got that out. So, now we are in trouble.
That was close. I had a feeling I had been watched. I didn't expect all this. But now the diaries are gone. Luckily, I made a copy of them about a week ago. It's in the glove compartment. Nice! Did you read them by any chance? Yes, of course. Uh, Ibn Juze kept the original version of the book in a cave he used for worship in the Atlas Mountains. He even detailed the exact location. Then that's where we'll find the guy who stole the diaries. How can you be so sure it's only one guy? Your sister is right, Faris. We'd better be prepared. Dark, cursed, and valuable thing. Here we come. I am ready now to leave the safe shores of my home. To see with my eyes what I have seen in my dreams.